Hey guys, uh, welcome to Emily's Robotronics and I'm your host Emily for Emily's Robotronics.in and uh, this is the second product that I purchased today and uh, this is again another uh, multimeter, a digital uh, multimeter so this is also a Chinese uh, product which is uh, rebranded by uh, the BTEC uh, company so this is not really manufactured by BTEC in fact this is imported from uh, uh, some some manufacturer in China and that's uh, renamed or retag so even if you look at the boxing uh, they just have a sticker uh, and they just have a label uh, stuck around uh, the corners and same thing goes behind also so they don't really manufacture this device in fact they uh, just uh, buy it uh, from outside they buy, they buy it from outside and they rebrand it and uh, they sell it here. So uh, one thing that I would like to uh, share about uh, this uh, multimeter is that uh, it comes with a lot of options. You can uh, do a frequency measurement, also a temperature measurement. So apart from the normal uh, uh, operation that you can do on uh, any multimeter, this multimeter gives you the uh, gives you uh, the features to test uh, the temperature and also the frequency so this does something a bit more than uh, any other uh, multimeters out there so I would just do an unboxing and uh, show you uh, the review and I would just share uh, the working of this multimeter so this I had to pay about uh, 950 bucks and uh, yeah, that, that's what I paid for this uh, multimeter. So this is something similar to, I believe this is something similar to the VC uh, series of uh, uh, multimeters that you uh, find on eBay. But uh, not really sure uh, which uh, series it is. But here uh, the model says H901. Uh, so that's H901. Uh, that's the model of uh, this multimeter and uh, let me just quickly uh, pull out all the things inside and uh, see what is that so this is just a quick uh, user guide i believe and i'm uh, at this point of time i'm not really interested in taking a look at it so that's fine and i have these uh, probes here so one good thing that i noticed about the probes are that they are uh, of a, a premium uh, quality so they're not even though they're uh, uh, these are Chinese products, you don't really uh, get that feeling that uh, they're actually uh, those uh, Chinese uh, cheap Chinese products that you get. So the probes uh, look a bit uh, premium. So that's what I have found uh, on this uh, multimeter. So here it is. It's kind of hard to pull out uh, the probes. Yeah. So there you can see you have a very nice uh, handle uh, it's it looks great and it feels uh, pretty good but I'm not really uh, uh, sure about the quality of wire that they would have uh, used inside so that's something that uh, we need to check so that's about uh, the probes and apart from that you also get uh, this additional probe so you can use this to uh, measure or uh, do any uh, temperature measurement so in case you want to use your multimeter for measuring temperatures you can do that and you would uh, require this probe to do that and uh, taking a look at the multimeter itself comes with this uh, bubble wrap uh, package and yeah there uh, you see the H901 uh, multimeter so that's uh, the one that I just bought and uh, there you need to uh, first uh, put in a battery uh, behind so you get a ba you need to remove uh, two screws down there to insert a new battery and after that uh, also have this uh, nice little stand so you can just pull it out and put it on your table just like that and uh, powering it on do you guess this uh, you get uh, the hold uh, button which uh, is to uh, freeze uh, reading uh, for a, a small unit of time but uh, the ranging is not automatic you have to do it uh, manually so you have to uh, tune it manually uh, to uh, select the appropriate uh, uh, range of values that uh, you require and uh, one thing that I also noticed is that uh, based on the range that you set a particular uh, port opens up here so 
it will always make sure that you are not doing a voltage measurement when you have uh, plugged the cable for current measurement which would in fact short your uh, internal circuitry and cause the damage so if you just if you can take a look at it now it's at voltage and uh, uh, the port for uh, voltage is open and when I move it towards uh, current you should see the port closes see you just see that so the voltage uh, range is now in uh, milliamp range so uh, the milliamp uh, range uh, valve opens up the port uh, gate opens up and then if I move it towards higher current measurement as I move higher current measurement the opening for uh, higher current measurement opens up so it will always uh, ensure that uh, you are uh, plugging in your uh, cable the, the main apart from the one that you would plug to the common you would always make sure that you would be plugging in uh, the other one in the right port so that you don't damage your uh, internal circuitry of your multimeter so that's one nice little feature so I don't know if it's copied from any branded uh, multimeters out there since I haven't have uh, really had my hands on uh, any of them but uh, yeah this is a nice little feature to have on this thing so as I told you you can also do a temperature measurement here and uh, I'm not sure about the range uh, that can measure probably I'll take a look at uh, uh, the data sheet and I will also I leave uh, uh, the temperature range uh, in the comments below and about the frequency you have uh, two different options here one is in uh, uh, kilo ohms and uh, kilohertz and other one is uh, yeah it, it can measure frequencies up to 2k to 200 uh, kilohertz so it's a nice uh, feature on the multimeter in case you are into uh, some digital or analog uh, signal uh, circuitry which uh, generates signals so that you can uh, quickly probe in and uh, check the frequency of uh, your uh, signals